That dreaded four letter word BRAC could be back on the table. It stands for base realignment and closures. ODU's top economists predict that it is inevitable that there will be another round of BRAC one of these days. 13 News Now military reporter Mike Gooding takes a look at what that has meant for our region in the past and what it could mean now. If the day comes when the Congress approves a round of BRAC, we will have done everything humanly possible to prepare the installations and have them be in the best possible shape. That wasn't the case back in 05. BRAC voted to close Fort Monroe, and it tried to realign Naval Air Station Oceana and send its fighter jets to Florida. That would have been a disaster for this region, with Oceana estimated to have a total of 25,000 personnel, family members, and civil servants with an economic impact of $1.3 billion. Congress, in its current defense budget signed by President Trump, has expressly prohibited BRAC. But ODU's top economics professor this week in their State of the Region report said it is a certainty there will be another round of BRAC someday. Retired Rear Admiral Craig Quigley is executive director of the Hampton Roads Military and Federal Facilities Alliance. He says the region has already done much to protect its military interests from BRAC. There, there are more efforts going on than I can point to that, that to make sure that we, we show that we value these installations and that they are a part of who we are as Hampton Roads. Virginia Senator Mark Warner, noting how important the military is to this state, in a statement to 13 News Now said, while Congress successfully blocked a new round of BRAC in this year's defense bill, I will continue to remain vigilant on this issue. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.